hello and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to focus on addition and subtraction of number bases now the rules for adding and subtracting in other number bases are exactly the same as for adding and subtracting in decimal numerals now all what you need to do is to remember that the base is not base 10. in that sense if you are working in base 2 then what you borrow is 2 instead of 10 and then if you are working in base 5, what you borrow is 5 instead of 10. Now without wasting much time, let's get into the lesson by solving these examples. So for question 1, we have 1101 base 2 plus 1110 base 2. Now let's add the two values. 1 plus 0 is 1. So all in base 2. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, because we are working in base 2, if we get any value that is equal to or greater than 2, we can't write that value here. So, we need to divide that value by base 2. So, since we had 2, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 remainder 0. So, we are going to write the remainder here. So, we have 0 and then we carry on this one. Now 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. So because 3 is greater than or equal to 2, we are going to divide 3 by base 2. And this is equal to 1 remainder 1. So we write the remainder here and then we carry on the 1. Now 1 plus 0, 0 is still 1. So we have our final answer to be 11011 base 2 after adding these two values. Now let's solve for the second one here we are working in base 8 5 plus 3 is 8 because we have 8 we can't write 8 here so we divide 8 by base 8 and then we have 1 remainder 0 so we write the remainder here and then we carry on this one 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 5 is 10 10 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 2 so we write 2 and then we carry on 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So we write the remainder which is 0. And then we carry on 1. Now 1 plus 0, 0 is 1. So we have 1, 0, 2, 0, base 8. Now to the third one. We are working in base 7. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 3. So we have the remainder here. And then we carry on 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 is less than 7, so we write the 5. And then 1 plus 4 is also 5. Now let's move on to subtraction. So for example 4. Here, because we are working in base 4, whatever we borrow is 4, not 10. 1 minus 2 is not possible because 1 is less than 2. So we need to borrow from the next value, which is 2. So when we borrow from 2, 2 becomes 1. And then what we borrow is 4. So we have 4 plus 1, which is 5. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. Now we are left with 1 here. 1 minus 3 is not possible because 1 is less than 3. So we borrow from the next value, which is 3. Now this becomes 2. And what we borrow is 4. So 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. So we have 2 here. Now we have 2. 2 minus 3 is not possible. We borrow from the next value. This becomes 1. And what we borrow is 4. So 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. And then here, 1 minus 1 is 0. So after subtracting, 1, 3, 3, 2, base 4 from 2, 3, 2, 1, base 4 we have our final answer to be 3, 2, 3, base 4 now let's move on to example 5 we are working in base 2 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 0 is 1 0 minus 1 we can't do that so we need to borrow from the next value so this becomes 0 and then what we borrow because we are working in base 2, is 2. Now 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 
1 minus 1 is 0 and then 1 minus 0 is 1. So this is our answer 1 0 0 1 1 0 base 2. Now to example 6. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 2 is not possible. We need to borrow from this value. So what we borrow is 6 because we are working in base 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 minus 2 is 5. Here we have 1. So we need to borrow from this value. So this becomes 3 and then we borrow 6. So 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. And then 3 minus 3 is 0. So we have 2, 5, 1, base 6. So basically, this is how to perform addition and subtraction of other number bases. Now let's move on to the next section where we are going to solve more complex examples. Now let's solve example 7. The dimensions of a rectangle are given in base 2. Find its perimeter. So here we have a rectangle with a length 11 base 2 centimeters and then with a width 10 base 2 centimeters. Now we are going to find the perimeter of this rectangle in base 2. Now the perimeter of a rectangle is given by 2L plus 2W. That is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Now because we've not done multiplication of number bases, we can expand this expression so that we have L plus L plus W plus W. So let's substitute these values in here. So L is the length, that is 11 base 2 centimeters. And then we have the width W to be 10 base 2 centimeters. So we have 11 base 2 plus 11 base 2 plus 10 base 2 plus 10 base 2. Now let's work it out here. 11 base 2 plus 11 base 2 plus 10 base 2 plus 10 base 2. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 0 is 2, and then 2 plus 0 is also 2. Now, because we are working in base 2, we are going to divide the value that we have by the base. So that is 1 remainder 0. So we have the remainder here, and then we carry on the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then 4 plus 1 is 5. Now, because 5 is greater than 2, we divide 5 by base 2. And then we have 2 remainder 1. So let's write the remainder here. And then we carry on 2. Now this time, this 2 is also greater or equal to 2. So we also need to divide this value. So when we divide 2 by 2, we have 1 remainder 0. So we write the remainder here. And then we carry on the 1 so that we write the 1 here. Therefore, 11 base 2 plus 11 base 2 plus 10 base 2 plus 10 base 2 is equal to 1 0 1 0 base 2. Therefore, the perimeter of this rectangle is equal to 1 0 1 0 base 2. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.